changed the culture of music forever. You did that, Tate. You changed that flow. That flow came from Tate, the originator. He the originator of that flow. He changed the music. Business. Lord, give us the strength. Just give me some, give us the strength, the family, everybody. Give us some strength. I don't want to question you, God, but I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get you sometimes. And I believe in you, Father, but you are always with me. And we did everything together. Since we was kids, you've been by my side. Looking up at me with them eyes, same eyes you got your my sister. Waiting on me to make the next move, then you followed up right behind me. You always made sure I did it first, so you can do it right with me. You never competed with me. We was always on the same team because you hated playing against me because I always played too hard or too rough. And I can hear mama saying, not too rough, son. Cause I ain't like to lose. Remember our first dream? Was to be tag team partners in the WWE. We fell in love with WWE wrestling. You know, everybody already know Takeoff, he was laid the rest of the day. You know, so that memorial. You know, everybody came, showed him love. Drake, a lot of R&B singers, a lot of superstars. You know, the whole city of Atlanta. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good move, man, good look. You know, he got his flowers. You know, but the main thing, the biggest thing, Quavo, Offset, they came back together. That Migo family. And, you know, it's crazy. They had to take take off to die. But, you know, God made no mistakes. And, yeah, that's what he did right there. And, and it happened like that. And now, like Quavo said, you know, we're going to just focus on family. And, you know, building that bond back and staying together. Because, you know, some would say life short, some would say life long. Either way, you know, uh, we only got one life. And um, yeah, man, they know they gotta, you know, it don't matter what little bullshit, if it's a female, if it's what they said, ain't no money problems, it ain't that, but whatever it was, uh, Offset ain't trying to focus on the group, he focused on Solo and Cardi, whatever it was. Like, you know, now they know that uh, we can't make this mistake again. Well, Offset, he'll know. Cause it seemed like Quavo was already on boat, but also he had no like, yeah, I can't make that mistake again. Like it's all about the family. Like, nah, I was supposed to have been there. I was supposed to have been there with y'all. Maybe I could have, you know, de-escalated the situation. Maybe I could have stepped like, hold on, man, it ain't like that. Nigga, I play in basketball. Nigga, I, you know what I'm saying? Maybe also a big gambler, and you know he could have helped Quavo out. He could have took Quavo place. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Quavo wouldn't have failed. That type of way, you know, take off, he in the cut, he quiet, you know. Offset, he would have been gambling too, so, you know, it wouldn't have been as bad. Or, like I said, Offset could have de escalated the situation. Like, nigga, we can play ball, nigga, we can do whatever. Let's keep betting. You know, Offset can be the real gambler out the crew. Yeah, Quavo, he'll gamble, but Offset might could take it there. Like, nigga, I'll lose 50,000, 100,000, whatever, let's keep betting. You see what I'm saying? So, you never know. And they'll probably eat up Offset. You understand? And also was also saying in that speech, which he can barely get out, he was saying like, take off, he the originator of that Migo flow, which I always kind of knew that. I ain't knew that to be 100% fact, but I always said in the videos, I say, take off, he the, really one, he the one who really got the Migo flow. He the one who really got the Migo pattern. Not really uh, Quavo. Now I'll say kind of got it too. Like you know he got the Miko flow, but take out really the 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 the, 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 the he you know what I'm saying. He gonna really spit that shit like a Uzi, you know. Uh, and yeah, that's take off. And now we know that he the originator of the Miko flow. And you know the state of Georgia gave the Phoenix Award to take off, and yeah they celebrate him in that way. Yeah, he go the Phoenix Award. They yeah, take that. Um, and yeah, that's what it is, man. Uh, beautiful Friday for take off. You know. Uh, he went out of style. He went out of style, man. Um, everybody know good dude, humble dude. And that's what it is, man. Um, the main thing, Quavo and Takeoff together. They back together. And continue this Migo brand, this Migo game, this Migo music together. And they, they should know now to never break away. 
And I will say it's really you. It's really you though. So yeah, so y'all gotta get back in that studio and you know, first get over this. You know, you could never get over it, but you know, heal. Heal. Because y'all really gotta think though, it's a part of Quavo and probably offset that they ain't even wanna come. But they had to come because there's so many people expecting them to come and take out mama or, you know, their family, his family and, you know, the fans and everybody. But I'm pretty sure it's a part of Quavo saying, man, I don't even want to deal with this shit, man. I go, I go see my brother another time. Like, oh, he could have seen him before that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to see him like that, you know, but he had to come. But uh, so it took a lot for them to come to speak. That's why I said can barely get the speech out. Because you know, it took a lot. Um, and that's what it is, man. You know, that's what happened when the good die young. You know, it bring back, you know, yeah, it's a bad thing, but it also it's a good thing. It brought back the family. And they got to go out how they came in. And that's Migo. You understand? So, man, that's what it is, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man. Drop the comments. Quavo and Offset, they're back together for takeoff. Yeah, one band, one sound. Once again. Yeah, and, uh, that's what it is, man. What y'all think about the whole situation? You know, uh, come. Hey, y'all, here it is, man. A lot of people, man, they've been asking about the promo. Here it is. Yeah, it's y'all chance. Yeah, y'all, you do promo, you do promo. Nigga, I do now. Yeah, you want me to drop your video with nothing on it? I just drop your video. $100. That's going to run you $100. Yeah, yeah. Over 140 some thousand people going to see it. Yeah, it's up to them. They're going to click on it. Now, you want to. You want me to drop your video and I speak on your city, I speak on you, your mixtapes and all that stuff. That's gonna run you another hundred. That's two hundred. That's two hundred. You want me to, because I gotta take the time out and speak on it. I gotta uh, look up, I gotta find your information, you gotta give me information, I gotta put it together and all that stuff, edit and all that stuff. That's two hundred. Yo, now you want me to put it on the pre record, like I speak on your thug, I speak on Gunner, I speak on Gucci or Pooh Shiesty or uh, Lil Dirt or King Von and you know, a lot of people, they gonna watch that, that's gonna run you 300. That's gonna run you 300 because, you know, y'all be showing guns and y'all be uh, cussing and shit a lot. So it, it, I ain't gonna get paid for that deal. So yeah, oh, they gonna put it on yellow. So you gotta pay for that, that's 300. And I'm being nice with that because a lot of these videos, I make more than 300. So yeah, 300 on the video. That's 300. Now, if you just want me to post your brand in the video, that's your mixtapes, your clothes, uh, your clothing line, your trucking company, your um, it could be some headphones, it could be uh, your gun company, your bulletproof vest company, $50, you know what I'm saying? I put it on the gun video, you know what I'm saying, make sure a lot of people see it. Some, I'm just using him as an example, you know, it ain't going to be your own video, it's going to be one of the rapper videos, or I'm speaking on a situation that happened in America, you know what I'm saying, a shooting situation or something, where it's going to get a lot of views, yeah, fit it all, you know what I'm saying. Now, if you want to send me your uh, products, you know, the address is right there, and then you want to send me your clothes, you want to send me uh, whatever product you got, and you send it, the address right here, you can send that out where that shirts medium if it fit uh now if it fit big medium if it fit just regular large you know what i'm saying pants 34 you know, pants 34 uh jackets you know large uh it just depends if it run big medium if it runs like just right yeah uh, large uh shoes 10 10 and a half you know what i'm saying um boxers uh medium you know what i'm saying medium just medium you know what i'm saying uh yeah, if you want to send that, um, and of course I, you know, you want to send me your brand, I just, I post that, I ain't going to speak on it, but I post that up, your brand, you want to send me your product, I post that up, you know, give me a little freak, goddamn, uh, you may got some cups, you may sell uh, anything, uh, you might sell jerseys or phone cases, it could be silverware. You might sell forks and knives. You, know, you might sell plates. You might sell uh, headphones. It could be anything. Uh, bedroom sheets. Yeah, you might sell pillowcases. You might sell pillows. Whatever. I'm posting it. Yeah, you send me mine. I post it up. Now, I ain't gonna speak on it. I just, yeah, hey, you send me your information. But that's still gonna, you want me to send your information and say where to get it from? That's still $50. But you just want me to just show it. Like, look what somebody sent me, I do that. But you want to say, hey, you can get this product here. That's going to run you $50. That's going to run you $50 now. Um, and that's what it is, man. Oh, phone calls. You want to talk on the phone with me? Yeah, you want to chop it up. You want to get some free game. Yeah, you want to talk about trucking. You want to talk about uh, the music industry. You want to talk about uh, laws. You want to talk about um, anything. Uh, 
relationships, anything you want to talk about. It could be anything, no matter. I'll talk to anybody. Yeah, that's going to run you $50 for 20 minutes. That's $50 for 20 minutes. You got to come uh, on my IG, set the appointment, and tell me what you want to talk about. Tell me what you got, like, tell me your questions so I can, you know, get the information. And we ain't got to waste a whole bunch of time me searching and all that stuff. I can just, we go straight to it. So I ain't trying to waste your money. I ain't trying to waste my time. You understand that? Death? So come to my Instagram and you, you set up your appointment. You say you want to talk about this and yeah. And yeah, I got connects. Yeah, you fit the dollars. They can get you a connect with trucking. And you might need a dispatcher. I know a lot of dispatchers. I know a lot of dispatchers. Yeah. Military contracts, all that stuff. So you never know what fit the dollars will get you. You never know. Or oh, I'll lead you in that direction. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna just say I just give you a, a million dollar connect or a six figure connect for fifty dollars, but I could definitely lead you in that direction when you're spinning, when you keep spinning, then yeah, I'll be like, Oh yeah, that's some, you know what I'm saying? I might send you to the Instagram. It's up to you to, you know, get into it with them, or like get in touch with them and all that dumb. Or you pay the right amount, and then I tell, hey, you need to holler at them. They can, you know what I'm saying? Holler at them for me, do that for me. So you never know what they can get you, you know. Uh, you never know how I can help you on the phone. It could be a law, it could be a situation where you're going through somebody, a nigga might be beating your ass, ladies, and I'll tell you how to get about this situation. You know, you never know. Um, yeah, so it could be about anything. Like, I talk to anybody, yo, that's what we're doing, man. That's what's going on. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the promo. Yeah, get at me. IG right here. And, yeah, let's, let's get money. Let's do business. Go.